20 years ago, I would not have played in apartheid South Africa. Today, I refuse to play in Israel. It's this advert by Dave Randall, the lead guitarist of the British band Faithless, that caused all the fuss. Played on one of the country's leading youth music stations, the advert raised the ire of some groups who claimed it was anti-Semitic. But the group which placed the ad says this is baseless. Apartheid is a crime separate from South Africa, according to the United Nations, uh, the crime of apartheid. So a state does not have to exactly uh, resemble South Africa in order to be qualified as an apartheid state. Um, and so I think Israel, both in terms of parallels with South Africa, but also in terms of the United Nations crime, against, crime of apartheid, um, can be qualified as an apartheid state. And in the same way that uh, the boycott was used against apartheid South Africa, Despite complaints, 5FM, which is run by the state broadcaster, the SABC, decided to continue airing the advert, saying it was treating it as any other advertising. It did not, however, discuss details of the complaints it received or from whom exactly. The South African Artists Against Apartheid's campaign is itself, however, based on a drive launched in 1985 to isolate the white supremacist government that existed in this country. The performances which take place at a venue like this are often inspired by make-belief and vivid imaginations. But the scenes which play out in Palestine daily are often far more dramatic. And it's that reality that has inspired a growing number of South African artists to join the cultural boycott of Israel. Last year, the Cape Town Orchestra played in occupied Palestine, drawing strong criticism from anti-apartheid veteran Desmond Tutu. Those running the campaign for a cultural boycott of Israel here say it's a disappointment. Be on the right side of history. Don't entertain apartheid. Having experienced apartheid firsthand in this country, activists are optimistic their campaign will make an impact. Hassan Siria Press TV, Johannesburg.